I, I usually paint quite light-hearted, witty things, animals, landscapes, still lives, but mostly people. In 2003, when Iraq was invaded, I felt very strongly a, a sense of being against the war completely and felt that I had to do something about it. And the only thing I could do was paint. I hate to see the suffering, I hate to think of um, women and children being bombed and left homeless and completely devastated by war. I hate to think of soldiers being blown up and um, wounded horrifically. And yeah, basically I think war, although it, it happens, should be a last resort. I paint the victims of war, mostly women, children, soldiers, not the politicians. The images based on photographs taken by war photographers. A photograph can be very raw, it can be almost too painful to look at, particularly if it's of a harrowing image, whereas a painting has is a process that has not altered the photograph but has changed it slightly. Technically I start with um, an underpainting and leave that for a day or two to dry and then go and start putting in the detail Facial expressions can take a long time to, to get right. I might have to redo them dozens and dozens of times till I'm actually satisfied I've just captured that fleeting expression. The variety of experiences of war, there might be children just talking to a soldier or waiting for a delivery of food or just hanging around waiting to see what's going to happen. Some of the images I've painted are really quite um, graphically um, difficult to look at, but um, I've wanted to paint them. I've had to psych myself up to do it, to show the consequences of war that um, we don't normally see. And the worst images are the best way of conveying that. Doing the paintings themselves is often quite an emotional experience because I'm looking closely at people's suffering, um, maybe a grieving mother or a dead child, or soldiers in a situation of desperation, trying to um, get help for themselves if they're wounded. I do wonder what's happened to those people sometimes when I'm looking at them. They might well be dead. I'd like to see these paintings as a touring exhibition, ideally. Um, Travelling to different places in the country um, where they can be seen by as many people as possible. If there's any money made from these pictures or any funds generated by exhibiting them, I think they should go to charities for the victims of war, Help the Heroes, um, Medicine Sans Frontieres, and possibly other charities that support the victims of war in whatever way they see fit. I just hope this makes an impression on people. <laughs>